So we all know you should warm up before your training. Nothing mind blowing there. But how you warm up is extremely important. It should be very specific to what you're training for that day. I don't know if this is still getting taught nowadays, but years ago, when I was doing my personal training course back in London, the status quo of all the textbooks told you to warm up with cardio for five to 10 minutes prior to your weight training sessions. But this is completely redundant way of warming up and it's gonna negatively impact your performance by pre-fatiguing you, ultimately costing you your muscle gains because you're not gonna be able to work as hard because you're out of breath. If anyone ever tells you to do this, then just get them in a the headlock. It's completely justified. You don't need to warm up your whole body and get a sweat going. You just need to warm up and activate the muscles that you're going to train for that day. In sports science theory, there's a term called training specificity. And this is just basically nerd lingo for to improve a specific performance or endeavor, then your training needs to be specific to that performance or endeavor. So in practical terms, if you wanna grow your biceps, for example, then you're not gonna go outside and do hill sprints for half an hour, because that's got nothing to do with growing your biceps. Your training's gonna be focused around doing getting stronger at curls and focusing things on chin-ups and pull-ups, for example. Or on the flip side of that, if you wanna get better at a 100 meter sprint, and you're not gonna go into the gym and isolate your biceps, because again, that's got nothing to do with sprinting. You're gonna practice the sprint technique, you're gonna do those hill sprints, and you're gonna train the muscles that are gonna support you in getting better at sprinting. And the same thing goes for your warm-ups. You only wanna warm up the area that you're gonna be targeting for that day. So for one, you don't get any injuries, and two, you can ramp up your nervous system and really prime it so you can lift the most weight for the most reps on your working sets. You could throw in some muscle activation stuff here as well. So for example, banded chest flies before you hit the bench. But in my opinion, from a muscle building standpoint, this is unnecessary. But for injury prevention, however, this is quite a beneficial thing to do because of the increased blood flow. Just make sure if you do this, you just get a small pump in the area and you go nowhere near failure. I want to interrupt this video to say that I'm now offering a full online coaching service. So if you want to build muscle, get jacked, lose fat and learn about training directly from me, click the link in this description to find out more. The most important thing about your warm-ups is that they should not cause any fatigue whatsoever. In fact, you want to get the opposite effect. Remember, you're only trying to prime your nervous system and get yourself ready to lift that weight. So really, you should feel the strongest at the end of your warm-up. So let's say your five rep max bench press is 80 kilo, then your warm up's gonna look something like this. Start off with the empty bar for 10 reps, then move to 40 kilo for five reps, 60 kilo for three reps, 70 kilo for one rep, and then you jump into your working sets with 80 kilo. And that's around the amount of warm up sets that you need. So about three to four sets of low reps going nowhere near your maximum capacity. Now the stronger you get, the more warm-up sets you'll need obviously, but the principle will still remain the same. Remember the goal is to pre-activate and not fatigue. Now as your chest will be maximally warmed up after those three working sets of the bench press, any other chest exercise you'll do for that day is going to require less warm-up sets. So let's say you've done the three working sets on the bench press and then you move on to an incline dumbbell press. For the incline dumbbells, you only want to do one warm-up set with around 50% of your working weight, just so you get the movement pattern down. And then from there, you wanna jump straight into your working sets. There's no need to waste any more energy doing unnecessary warm-ups because your chest is maximally warmed up. So remember, the goal of your warm-ups is to just slightly warm up the area you're gonna train so one, you don't get injured, and two, to prime up your nervous system so you can lift the most weight for the most reps on your working sets. You wanna go absolutely nowhere near failure, so cap the warm-up sets about three to four sets with very low reps. So with all that being said, try it out for yourself and see you go from there. Until next time, peace.